Ever since its invention in the 17th century, the microscope has allowed its users to glimpse another world. A drop of pond water is found to be teeming with unimagined life forms. And granules of sugar reveal their crystalline beauty. In this program, we will discover a little of the history of the microscope, what its components are, and learn some of the basic principles of how it is used. The earliest type of microscope, called a simple microscope, was invented by Anton van Leeuwenhoek in Holland during the 1670s. Although a simple microscope has only one lens, van Leeuwenhoek was able to obtain magnifications of his specimens of up to 250 times. With his simple microscope, he was able to see bacteria, yeasts, and unicellular organisms in samples of soil and water. He named these creatures animalcules, which means little animals. At about the same time that van Leeuwenhoek was experimenting with the simple microscope, an Englishman named Robert Hooke was developing a microscope with two sets of lenses called the compound microscope. The first lens, which produces a magnified image of the object, is called an objective lens. In a compound microscope like Hooke's, the first image is then magnified a second time 